And so today, finishing up the three new resurrectable characters. Earlier today, we showcased Yamamoto. Yesterday, we showcased Siphon. Recommend you guys check them out. Today, let's focus on one of the more exciting resurrections of the year thus far. The Thousand Year Blood War version of Aizen. So in this case, quick PSA, he is performing like a 2 out of 5 character for the most part. 500 additional SP, 1000 additional focus. And depending on how bored he performs in this video, I might go ahead and max transcend him and showcase him later this week. But in Aizen's case, he is a mind sorry, with the hollow kill ability. When it comes to his resurrection, in my opinion, he got one of the better ones. For starters, his soul trait, originally being 12% strong attack recharge, is now that with the addition of getting 16% more damage at full stamina. Mind already has access to a great set of links, and it's been further increased now with this particular Aizen's resurrection. It's a really good soul trait for himself, but it's also a really good soul trait for any future mind character. Even normal attack damage characters can actually benefit from this. Having a look at his skills, so he got two very simple skills the first one for his innate skill is 20% Havoc. In this case, he gets 20% more range on all of his strong attacks, which is actually really good. When it comes to resurrections, ideally you want the character to pick up more range and more damage, and he got exactly that. More range with the Havoc, and also more damage because he also did get an additional 20% strong attack damage. So overall, just a very simple upgrade, but what you want to see. He got more damage. He got more range. He got a good soul trait. It's overall a good resurrection. So let's see how he does perform. Alright then, so let's see how he does perform now with the newfound skills at Havoc and also Berserker. Um, does it make a big difference? Well, right now, I will say probably does to be fair. Yesterday, we just we only used like two strong attacks, but I am noticing we are hitting more enemies than usual, right? So let's go here, use our SA3. Look at that, completely wiped up that entire wave. That was really good. I did notice when we were actually using this character yesterday or the other day more so, we were missing a few times and he still has a problem with his kit. You know, his SA1 is the range collision attack. It's not really the best attack to have in the game and you do have to kind of line it up. But let's go up here. Let's charge up the strong attack free. Remember, this character does have three phases or two phases to a charge strong attack. But in a realistic situation, you're not really ever going to use the second phase. Because you do have to charge it for upwards of 20 seconds. I will say though, I'm liking the gameplay with his newfound Havoc skill. It's kind of unfortunate that we are going against hollow enemies. Which, yeah, he does have killers, sure. But the enemies themselves are also kind of annoying for his type of kit. He does have a Vortex. He has a pushback attack. And since these enemies are rolling enemies, they are kind of getting out of the range super quick. Let's go up here though. Once more, let's charge our strong attack. Love the visuals of it too. Just even the charge up effect looks really cool. And look at that. That's great. That is good. That feels powerful. Aizen is actually potentially good again. Who would have thought, right? Let's not even use the soul. And yeah, we're going for his quest super easy. This was IT, by the way. This was IT. Honestly, not too bad. A 1 minute and 30 second clay time. Let's try that once more and see if we can get a tad bit faster. All right, there's here we go. We're going to use our SA1 to push back those enemies. Let's go up here and charge the SA3. And then do that. That was a good use of the SA3 there, I will say. SA2 can actually now grab the enemies in from the side because he does have that extra bit of range. That was actually nice to see. And I guess we can actually afford to take just a few extra hits. Not now anymore because our shield's gone. But yeah, I love the look of that SA2. The SA2 looks really cool in my opinion. Let's go up here and then use our SA3 there. Didn't position it well to be fair, but it's fine. The SA1 does clear up. Yeah, man, I, I had nothing but praise to say with our SA2. I love the visuals for it. And I'm kind of fanboying now over this character because realistically, I never had a chance to play with him back in the day. It took me a while to get him. And by the time I did get him, he was already kind of outdated. So it's nice to actually get a good feel of the character now for the first time, for the most part, with these addition of new skills, right? Do that sob on here, might as well. Charge up the strong attack free. Do we even need to fully charge up? We don't. We don't. But yeah, funny enough, almost a sub one minute clay time. Very similar to Yamamoto, coincidentally. Yamamoto also got an exactly one minute and one second clay time. So I guess that's nice to see he can now compete with Yamamoto. And Yamamoto at the time of his release was considered the better of the two characters. But now I think it's more fair. You could maybe even say Aizen's better because he does have the more consistent damage and also better range. But maybe single player Aizen is too easy for Aizen. Let's take him in to a cop and see how he does perform here. Probably not the best, let's be honest. But we'll see how it goes, right? Again, if you haven't watched my video earlier today, when we showcase Yamamoto. My controller is kind of broken and that results in some weird usage of strong attacks in terms of the direction it is placed at. SA1, you can kind of see now, to be fair. Now that we're actually in Carp Quest, you can kind of see why the SA1 was considered bad back in the day. It has way too much pushback and it doesn't do that much damage. But I guess the Vortex here does help us. We can actually grip everyone up and then push them back. That was a really good use of the SA1, I will say. Now, in this case, you know, let's let's go here. Let's use our SA3 there. Unfortunately, did not kill. But I kind of want to, I kind of want to demonstrate how powerful that SA3 can be, if if we can even do that, right? So let's push these enemies back, and then now let's um, uh, mm, let's use it here. Hold on. Let's let's make sure this enemy's weak. We're not gonna try and go for a fast playtime. We want to have a little fun little test run. Get this enemy weak. 
and then we're going to fully charge that SA3. There we go. So let's now charge the SA3. It's going to take us 20 seconds to do so, but we'll see how it does turn out. All right, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. There we go. Ah, we missed. <laughs> Uh, I mean, to be fair, it did one-shot the enemies that were there. Uh, this is this is why the SA3 is kind of bad. We spent 20 seconds to charge it up and we didn't even kill. But, you know, it was fun. I didn't mind it. It was it was funny to lay off. Sometimes having something more fun is better than having something meta, right? We're going to try that again against the bosses, though. We'll see how that goes. So, in this case, we're going to do another example of the SA2 into the SA1. It's a really good combo, I think. Let's charge up this strong attack 3. Let the first charge go off and then do it to these lot. There we go. Now, we're going to charge our SA3 this time around because I believe the bosses are going to start spawning in. Let me just double check he was alive. There's a few more enemies. Hopefully this doesn't kill all of them. There we go. Okay, there's one enemy left. There we go. Now we're going to see again. 22 seconds and see if we can one-shot the bosses. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's coming. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Look at that. That was cool. That was really cool. <laughs> Man, this carriage is fun. I'm not gonna lie, bro. We're clearing slow, but you know what? I'm having fun clearing slow. I don't mind this. That was really cool to see at one shot. If there was maybe a way for you to reduce the SA3, or if it didn't take 20 seconds, that would be a really cool SA3 to see return. I'm not gonna lie. Do I want to do it again, though? Nah, let's not. We've already done it against two sets of enemies. Never mind, lads. I lied. We're doing it again. Okay, here we go. Let's go right in the middle. Let it off. Look at that. That was good. That was good. We didn't kill there, but that was still good. There we go. Making quick work, for the most part, against these particular bosses. Grab these boxes. And we're into the final stage, where we could probably use our summon straight away, but I don't don't want to, because he is technically 5 out of 5, so our summon is doing significantly more damage. Let's charge up this, then use that back up. Use our SA2, just chip it away at the HP real quick, then use our summon. Almost all the way through. You know what? Honestly, that was definitely not the fastest run, I will say. If you're trying to go for a fast play time, Aizen isn't clearly for you, right? But I had fun doing it, generally. And we were kind of safe for the most part. We got a 5 minute and 16 second clear time, right? That was on the slower side, but we weren't really trying to go for like a super fast clear time, to be fair. When comparing to Yamamoto, Yamamoto did clear faster, but it was also more sweaty in terms of how I had to play it. In Aizen's case, we were kind of just chilling, sitting back, using our attacks. So yeah, a slow clay time, but it is what it is. It is what it is. He's better now. Is he a coward you take into IT to carry? Maybe if you only have him max transcended. All right, so lastly, let's take him into Epic Raid to see how he does perform here. I'm kind of curious to see how much damage his SA3 does when we fully charge up. But the question is, is there a pushback stage in this part? It might be. Yeah, see, this is the problem, right? When we get pushed back, we lose the charge effect. So I don't even know if we can actually fully get off the SA3. Maybe in the second phase? We'll try in the second phase. But I mean, to be fair, we're not doing too bad. We kind of wasted time charging up that SA3. And our range collision attacks aren't really the greatest for, for content like this. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, we have to be like really time it right if we possibly can. But the pushback attacks is going to stop us from actually using that SA3. When fully charged, at least. All right, let's charge the SA3. Can we let it off? Let's find out. We might just be able to let it off. Ah, uh, no, we can't. <laughs> we don't have time. Maybe now? Maybe I charge up now? Okay, we're in the safe zone. We might be able to do this, you know? It's happening. It's gonna happen. Here we go. Here we go. Let's use our saw bomb. Now, we are currently holding down the charge button. So we can use the saw bomb here. The charge is still gonna be charging up. And we're also gonna apply weakened defense. There we go. Now let's use it. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> that felt good. Eyes on you, beast. <laughs> I mean, it took us, what, two minutes to do it? But I don't care. That was cool. That was fun. I'm down for that. Aizen's a fun character, man. Even years later, bro. What a character. He wasn't the greatest character, but you know, he was fun. Would you rather have more fun or just use a meta character? That maybe is a bit fun, but not as fun as this character. I don't know. I'm not going to redo that. I'm pretty happy with the clear time. Two minutes is uh, somewhat slower when compared to, you know, Yamamoto and Soivin, for example. We did get a one minute and 30 clear time for both of them. Aizen could probably get something very similar. Um, yeah, sure, we cleared 30 seconds slower. We did kind of mess up there. We might be able to get a sub 130. But we finished in style, and that's all that matters. But with that said, lads, that was the video for today. I had a lot of fun showing this character, generally. He's a, he's, a, he's a lot of fun to play around with. His resurrection is overall just a very solid one. You could probably say he got the best resurrection in the game. 
A very simple one, but what you want to see when it comes to Resurrections. He got the best possible soul trait, extra damage at full stamina. He got a solid damage upgrade, 20% Berserker, and of course the extra 16% damage when at full stamina, because that does apply for himself. And he also got 20% more range on his strong attacks. And that really does help him because his strong attacks before were quite linear. And of course also range collision, so the extra range I think helps him out more than a character if they had only media collision for example. Overall, solid upgrade, W character, W upgrade, W resurrection. In the comments below, let me know what you like to do with this character. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.